Hello everyone and welcome into 1980s roleplay. So today we got a few things going on around the farm and if you watched the last video well you know that we finished off harvest. Well after harvest now what we are going to be working on is tillage. But when I bought this little ripper right here I was originally thinking of we didn't have this tractor yet. So we are going to be taking this little ripper down to the John Deere dealership and trying to trade it in for something like a John Deere 620 disc, I think is what it is that we're going to be trading in for. But I'm going to run back to the house and uh, I'm going to call him on the landline here and see if uh, that's what it is and if they've got it in stock. Because, well, I'd hate to drive that tractor and disc all the way down there and then not be in stock. So I'm going to call down there and make sure it's in stock right click. So uh, I'll catch y'all back here in a few minutes whenever I get that done. Hey, Frank, Prairie State Tractor, how may I help you? Yes, uh, I'm looking for a John Deere 620 disc. I'm looking to trade in the one I've got on my tractor right now. It's pretty small. I know there's going to be some cash on top, but uh, I was just wondering if y'all had that in stock. Yeah, uh, just give me two seconds here. I'll get Jerry on the line, and we'll uh, see what we can figure out. All right, that sounds great. Hey, this is Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Uh, I was looking for a uh, John Deere 620 disc. I'm wondering if y'all have that on the lot. Uh, yeah, I think we got that on the lot right now. I think I sent it this morning. Just uh, come on down, and we'll. Uh, Susan told me he's looking to trade in your disc. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm looking to do. Yeah, just bring that right on down here, and uh, we'll get you all fixed up. All right, thank you, Jerry. I'll be there in a few minutes or so. It'll be a few minutes because I'm driving the tractor down there with the disc. All right, sounds good. See you when you get here. All right, everyone. So I reckon you just heard that phone call. So we're going to go up here and jump, jump in our John Deere, and we are going to be running down there. And we're going to be trading in our disc. You said he had one a lot, and we are going to be trading this one in for that one. Just because, well, we need a little bit something bigger, but I didn't know at the time of purchasing this one if we would be able to even handle something bigger. So that's why we actually went with this one. But we're going to be trading it in, as you heard. So I will catch y'all back whenever we get up there to the John Deere dealer. All right, everyone, we're just rolling up to the dealership here, and it looks like he's actually got that disc right here for us. This is the disc we're going to be getting. Like I said, of course, there's going to be some cash on top. It's a lot bigger disc. But this is the disc that we are going to be getting. This tractor has enough horsepower to pull it. So I'm going to run in here. I don't see nobody in here right now. So I'm going to run in here and see if I can find somebody. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch y'all back here in just a few minutes whenever somebody shows up. Hey, Jerry, I'm the one that called about the John Deere 620 disc. Yeah, I remember you calling. Uh, did you see it out front there? I got it all set out. Yeah, so... Uh, I seen it out front. Uh, that's the one I want, and I'd like to uh, go ahead and purchase it. All right, I brought my checkbook in if uh, you would like a check. All right, that sounds good. We'll uh, go ahead and get that rid up. Let me run around back and see if I can figure out what uh, exactly the price tag is on it. Grab the paperwork for that, and uh, then you'll be all set up and good to go. Oh. All right, now I did want to trade in my other disc. Did you want to come out here and look at that? Yeah, I'll look at that right quick and see sort of what we could give you trade in value on that and uh, what we could do for you. All right, that sounds good to me. I'll go ahead and go out here and get it disconnected because I know I'm going to get it either way while you go grab that paperwork for me. All right, that sounds good to me. I'll see you in a minute, bud. All right, everyone. Well, we just bought ourselves a disc. All you got to do, we haven't given the money yet. He's grabbing the paperwork. But while he's doing that, we're going to drop this off. He said just to drop it off around back here because I know I'm, we're going to get this either way if he'll, uh, no matter what the trade in value is on this, because, well, we don't need this disc anymore. So why not just trade it in and let somebody, another small farmer who could use it? more than we can have it if he needs just something to uh, get started with like we did so we're gonna go ahead drop that here we're gonna hop out and we'll get the hydraulics undone undo the pin right there come get out of there all right got that done we're gonna just go ahead and get this thing all disconnected just like so 
and now we're just gonna go ahead and get hooked up he told me I could go ahead and just get hooked up to this disc right here being that we're gonna take it either way oh he sneak bite right there we're gonna back right up just like so we'll get out drop the pin get the hydraulics hooked up all right looks good to me go ahead and pull up just a little there we go all right now we got it all right we're gonna go ahead and pull this around front and i'm gonna go in and sign the paperwork and give him this check so i'll see y'all back in just a few minutes when we get that done all right we got that paperwork for you to sign right here all right sounds good there you go we got that all signed up and we got your check right here uh what was the amount exactly uh yeah it was two thousand five hundred and eighty all right that sounds good here's your check got that all read up for you i it was a pleasure doing business with you i'll see you when i need to buy my next piece of equipment all right sounds good thank you for shopping for your state tractor come back and see us all right i certainly will thank you for your help all right everyone well as you see we just bought ourselves a brand new disc to go with our tractor this one here is going to work a lot better with our tractor than what that other one did the other one was just way too small really for this tractor i mean it could barely cover the spot that the duels could do so yeah we got ourselves an upgrade so we're going to go ahead and head back to the farm so i will catch y'all back whenever we get there all right everyone so we've just gotten back home with our brand new disc here so i reckon we'll go ahead and jump out so you can see it as you can see it's quite an upgrade from my other one uh we'll get past through here right here and we'll just start unfolding it a little bit because well we're going to get right into some disking today because well that's what needs to be done so as you can see it's a fairly good sized disc now we are going to have to gear a tractor down some i know we're just going to pull right up here and drop it down oh yeah this works much better than our other disc because well it's a lot bigger for one it seems to be doing the ground really good leaving a good texture behind too so we're going to start knocking out these fields so i'll catch y'all back whenever we get just a little bit more done all right everyone well we got this first field done so now we're going to move right on over to the next field uh this field right across the street that we're going to work on and then we're going to knock out the one right across from it so i'll catch y'all back whenever we get this clutch right here done and we're moving on to another section of field so i'll see y'all then all right everyone well we just finished off tillage right here we've got all this all of these fields done as you can see so now we are heading over to this field up here and we're gonna knock out tillage on uh one of our bean fields that's up here and then most likely also the corn fields because once we get over there that's going to be where it's going to take quite a bit of time so we're going to knock out everything around the farm first and then we're going to go over there and we're going to begin working on that so i'll catch y'all back whenever we get started over here all right everyone well it's been a while since we've seen y'all and we've gotten this entire field disc all the way around so now we're going to work our way back over here to this path and i reckon we'll head on down to the cornfield and begin disking it because well that's the next thing to disc we'll go ahead and lift the disc up because well we don't want to disc this path up because we want to be able to drive on it not it to be filled but as you can see right over here we've still got this cornfield right here that i think that's what we're going to go to next we come go around and go to the entrance of it and we're going to begin working on the cornfield and disc it up and then once we get it disced up then we'll head over to that other soybean field across the road so i'm gonna go ahead and get down here and get ready to disc this up so i'll catch y'all back whenever we get over there all right everyone well we're just pulling up here to i guess this is sort of where we come in at this field don't really have a real entrance it just sort of you come across here but this is our hay field here so i didn't want to run across no more of it than i had to so we'll go ahead and drop the disc down and begin disking we're missing just a little bit on this side but that'll be fine so we're going to go ahead and continue working on this field so i'll catch y'all back here in a little bit whenever we're probably around halfway done show you the progress all right everyone so i had just a little bit of a change of plans we're going to work on this field right here right quick 
we're gonna cross through this little waterway and I'm gonna knock this field out right quick before we do this one so I'm gonna go ahead and get this field knocked out so I'll catch y'all back whenever we get this one done all right everyone so we are working on the last pass in this small field right here all we've got is just this tiny little bit there we go gonna go ahead and raise that up so we can cross the waterway and we're gonna get back to uh disc in this big field so once again i will catch y'all back here in a little bit when we get some progress made all right everyone so as you can see we have just about finished up this field uh we don't have a whole heap left we've just got uh well when i turn around here you'll be able to see just got that so maybe one more two passes probably two passes one and a half something like that left and it's about it's 11:46 right now so once we get done with this it'll be around 12 o'clock and i think we're gonna go get some lunch because well we started early this morning and it's around 12 o'clock now so i do believe that once we finish this field we're gonna go get some lunch before we uh continue on with the next fields over there because those fields are going to take a while so we're going to go get some lunch before we do that so i will catch y'all back once we finish up uh getting out of this field we're going to go ahead and fold this thing up and we're going to get out of this field so i will catch y'all back whenever we get over here and i think we might go to the diner for lunch not sure so i will catch y'all back whenever we get that figured out all right everyone well i just realized that sometime back we actually left our uh truck that we drive around we actually left it up at the dealership so and if we took this truck well then we just have another truck up there and we need to get our truck so i'm gonna call my buddy up the street and see if he can come take me up to the dealership so i will catch y'all back whenever we're up there getting our truck all right everyone so we made it up here to the dealership and i was telling my buddy that we were going to go eat lunch and uh he said well uh we got lunch at my house so you can just come eat with us if you want to so he invited us to come eat with him so i think that's what we're going to do we're going to run over there to his house he don't live far from the farm actually like i said he just lives right up the road and uh we're going to go eat lunch with him so i will probably catch y'all back whenever we get there so i will catch y'all back then all right everyone so as you can see i think right here is his house so we're just gonna pull right in the driveway here this truck must be around back or something but for right now we're just gonna pull right in the driveway like this and we're gonna run in here and see what we're having for lunch so i'll catch y'all back after lunch thank you again all right thanks bye all right everyone well we just got done eating lunch we had us some good old turkey sandwiches and uh some chips pretty good but now it's time to uh, get on back to work here we got a lot of things still yet to do today we got a lot more tillage that we need to run but it's important to eat so we decided to uh, stop and eat some lunch so anyway i'll catch y'all back whenever we get to the farm and uh well we're getting back at tillage all right everyone we just made it back to the farm parked the truck around the shed that way it's not out in the sun so much we're gonna hop back in our 4955 i believe that's what the yep 4955 and i reckon we're just gonna head back out to continue our tillage so i will catch y'all back whenever we get out to the field all right everyone we've made it to the field here so we're gonna go ahead and start unfolding our disc and we're just gonna start at the top and work our way to the bottom one field at a time getting getting it done so anyway i'll catch y'all back whenever we get a few of these fields knocked out all right everyone well we've gotten this one two three four five we got these five fields done so now we're heading on up here to continue working on this field here but i just figured i'd give you a little bit of update but anyway we're going to get back to work here on knocking out these fields so i'll catch y'all back whenever we get some more done all right everyone so we've got the next cluster done now so we're moving on to the next one uh, i think we got two more clusters this is going to be the first one and then we'll have that one over there so we're going to go ahead and drop it down now let it go ahead and start tilling so yeah we've got this cluster right here of about three fields and then we've got that cluster up there of four fields five fields 
I don't know. I really wish this was just all one field, but I do know that the reason that it's not is for waterways. That way, and if we took them away, the field might, honestly, it might, we might have water problems, and that's not something I feel like having. So, we're leaving the waterways for now. That way, hopefully, we don't get any field problems. We didn't have any with them last year. Hadn't had any with the years in the past, but I don't want to start now, so I'm definitely not going to take out the waterways. But anyway, we're going to continue on working here, getting the field tilled up. So I will catch y'all back whenever we get this cluster right here done. All right, everyone, we finished this cluster here. Now on to the very last cluster. That's all we got left for today is just that cluster. And we'll have all of our tillage done for the year. And then, well, we just got up. well, continue on. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and knock this here out. So I will catch y'all back whenever we're getting close to done. All right, everyone. And we are 100% done with tillage for the year. We have knocked out all of our fields today. We've got all the tillage done. So now we are gonna go ahead and head home and probably gonna go eat some supper and check on the cat. We're gonna go check on the cows, eat some supper. And then I'm headed off to bed because it's getting pretty late. It's took just, just about all day to knock out all of these fields because well, we do have quite a few fields. But anyway, I will catch y'all back whenever we get up to the house. All right, everyone made it to the house. I just parked the tractor here because this is probably where the disc is going to get unhooked unless I manage to get it in one of the sheds up there. And I don't think we will, but we're going to go ahead and run over here. We're just going to check on the cattle, make sure everybody's doing good. They've got feed. We're just going to open this up. Everybody's looking pretty good in here. Everybody seems to be doing fine. Uh, yeah, everybody looks good. But I'm gonna head in and get some supper for the night. It's beginning to get just a little bit dark, so I'm gonna head in and get some supper and uh, hang out a little bit, and then I'm headed off to bed. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and bye for now.